Welcome back to Headliners. I'm Josh Howie, and because security has gone home, still here with Paul Cox and Lewis Schaefer. <laughs> Paul, let's kick off with the Sunday Express and be careful what you say in the story. I just saw them hanging out by the hot chocolate machine. <laughs> yeah, good point. So Nigel Farage calls on cancelled Lee Anderson to join reform and destroy... Destroy the Tories. Mm. Now, um, most of our viewers would have been following this today. We certainly have. Don't presume. Well, OK, so let me just give you a little bit of background. So following the removal of the Conservative whip from Lee Anderson, effectively being suspended from the party, um, uh, for refusing to apologise for comments he made about the London Mayor, Sadiq Khan, Farage has sensed an opportunity. and he He's thinks very good at that, isn't he's he? He's very good at that. And he's put out an olive branch and said, you know what, Lee? Come and join us, mate. Come and join us, because if you join us, we can destroy the Tories. Now, I would question whether that in itself would be enough to do so. But, however, if he was to defect to reform now, mm. my understanding of that situation would be that reform would have its own MP in Parliament. It's an interesting one, whether it comes through. I mean, reform are arguably the reason why... Uh, Tories look like they're going to lose because they're eating away so many Conservative votes. They're not beating Labour, yep. they're beating themselves. However, I would, to be fair to Lee Anderson, um, he has spent a lot of time knocking doors saying, don't go for reform, stay with but the Tories. Of course, Lee Anderson fam famously went from Labour. Yeah, that's a massive fly. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to ignore the whole this time. giant oh. fly. This fly. It's, a, it's a Russian fly. This is what it's happens. On your, it's on your time now. I should explain that Lewis, um, he eats meat <laughs> and brings it in with... He brings these flies we, in with I mean, <laughs> this is impacted, of course, by the fact that Reform have announced some new policies just this weekend. They are planning... Oh! <laughs> Jesus, not quite Mr Miyagi. Yeah. Rest in peace. There will be serious uh, animal rights protesters outside soon. So, reform of not only... They're, they're, they're really beating the Tories at being Tories now because their policies now include pledging uh, to pull the country out of the European Court of Human Rights and freeze all non-essential uh, non migration, as well as giving tax cuts away. So, we end up... The re re reform actually out conservating the Conservatives, all on the back of what's happening with Lee Anderson at the moment. Yeah. And perhaps if he does defect to reform, um, it might it might be the start of something. I doubt it, though. But it's not about them beating the Tories or destroying the Tories. The Tories, have, from what I can tell, I'm not from this country, but they're, they're not very Tory. They are Tory. There's two types of Tories. There's the Tories that are in, like, Rishi Sunak. I'd say there are seven, I, seven I, types of Tories. Can I speak? And I want you can to list I, all seven types of Tories. <laughs> Go. Keep going with this. Obviously, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Give us the two about. types of Tories. Who are the two? The two types of Tories are the Tories that are in the pockets of Team World, of the... Oh, of the Lewis, no. get some new material. It's, there's, there's one war going on. Next 